These people are over there hug embracing Farrakhan. That'd be Decades. like Donald Trump <laughs> high-fiving David Duke. Yeah, great job. Get your tiki torch. <laughs> so this is my question for you today. Do you think that Democrats, the DNC, that they're trying to, right now they're trying to distance themselves from these so-called extremists who are going to go through Louis Farrakhan in their ranks? Uh, do you think they're trying to distance themselves more recently? And is it even possible, considering that these extremists are some of their most important figureheads? Like, what is a moderate DNC look like? Let me know. You remove these people. What do you have in today's Democratic Party? I, I, I don't know that you can. So the latest is Farrakhan. People trying to distance themselves from him for what some might call or consider slightly tinge of anti-Semitic overtones. Here, here are some clips. The satanic Jews. That's a rough start. Ooh. They control everything and mostly everybody. If they are your enemy, then you must, must be somebody about the wicked ones on, in the Jewish community that run America, run the government, run the world, the own Quran? the banks, <laughs> own the, the means of communication. Right. They are my enemies. Right. But as sure as I am alive, my enemies will be made my footstool. <laughs> Hear the Jews? That's out of context. Oh, here's one don't like Farrakhan, so they call me Hitler. Well, that's a good name. Hitler was a very great man. <laughs> oh, gosh. Any oh, questions? Whoa. End segment. <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> yeah, but by the way, if you're waiting to go, well, that's not a good... No, watch the whole clip. That's, yeah. that's, that pretty much captures it. I was, right <laughs> when he goes, hey, compare me to Hitler, I'm about to use that defense, like, oh, everyone I disagree with is Hitler. That's what the left does all the time. Compare. So I would defend him until he goes, well, I love Hitler. Ah, I guess the comparison... Apt comparison. Yeah. <laughs> it actually holds water. So, uh, first off, I don't know if that hair is just lacquered down or if it's painted on like that the second girlfriend from Fresh Prince at this point. I have no idea. But Democrats have long buddied up with Farrakhan. Okay, this is one thing. Now they're trying to distance themselves from him. But this is there's a long-standing history here, and this is something that I think is important. Uh, just like Nancy Pelosi and Hillary Clinton and then Bernie Sanders with Black Lives Matter, you remove the crazies and you remove all the activists, right? Roy Moore, gone from the Republican Party. It doesn't affect the Republicans at all. Right. Donald Trump has half of the Republican Party who thinks he's a boob. <laughs> but if you remove all these activists from the left, there's no one left. So here's one of the more recently revealed photos with Obama um, and, uh, and Farrakhan. Give you an idea as to just how, how ingrained he was. DNC chair Keith Ellison, two of the members of black, uh, co the, the Congressional Black Caucus, attended private dinner with Farrakhan. You have Tamika Mallory, the co-president of the Women's March, attended some of the anti-Semitic speeches. Democratic congressmen, they had regular meetings with him. Uh, he, here's actually... Um, I think a video clip of members of the Congressional Black Caucus embracing Maxine Waters and Farrakhan here. Uh, that's not exactly just a meet and greet. <laughs> yeah. that's, those are pen dials. <laughs> oh my God. She's on his speed dial. These people are over there hug embracing Farrakhan. That'd be Decades. like Donald Trump <laughs> high fiving David Duke. Yeah, great job. Get your tiki torch. This is how bad it is. So, by the way, hey, notification, click the bell if you're watching on YouTube because subscribing doesn't mean anything now. So, click the bell in the uh, top left there in case you want to hear about our new videos. So, Democrats now they're trying to distance themselves from Farrakhan. But They've been bedfellows with these people for a long time. And it's not only Farrakhan. So Al Sharpton has obviously been in hot water recently for his, I guess, anti-Semitic remarks. So it's hard to know if he made genuinely anti-Semitic remarks or if he just had another stroke reading the teleprompter. <laughs> Obama, of course, launched his campaign for Senate at the home of convicted terrorist Bill Ayers and likely did cocaine with him in college, not to mention his passionate praise of black liberation theologist Derek Bell, very, very radical, not to mention, of course, the praise of Saul Alinsky. As for the Women's March, again, the, we're talking about all of the activist groups. We're talking about the people yeah. spearheading the modern leftist movement. The Women's March, that was the biggest one. I was on Joe Rogan, they were saying, this is the biggest march that's ever, this is the biggest activist that's, group that's ever happened with, with, our, uh, with our generation. Okay, Women's March, it's not just Tamika Mallory, co-president of the Women's March, defender of Farrakhan, but also Linda Sarsour, who was openly anti-Semitic, and of course, March organizer, we've talked about it, Razmi Ode is a convicted terrorist involved in a bombing that killed two Jewish children. Keyword there, convicted. Second keyword, if you want, terrorist. <laughs> you know what? Killed two Jewish children. Five keywords. Yes. <laughs> I think. These are not isolated incidents. This is a pattern. And it really seems to me 
I don't know what you guys think, and I really would love to hear your feedback. It seems to me that without the help of the radical extreme far left, today's progressive base would cease to exist. There are no activists outside of Occupy and the Bernie Socialists and the Black Lives Matter activists and the Pussy Hat Women's Marchers. The activists on the right, as corny as they may be, right? You have the tea, the biggest one would be the Tea Partiers wanting lower taxes, business owners and entrepreneurs pushing for more business friendly environments. Even yeah, the crazy Christian whack jobs. And the worst they might push for is not wanting their kids to be handed rubbers and wooden phallus on a school bus, okay? Veterans, the American worker. These people make up the rights activist base. You may not like who they necessarily vote for, but these are the people who make up the grassroots. The radical left, the Farrakhans, the Sharptons, the Linda Sarsour's, yes, even the shaved-headed girl from Parkland, Florida, who looks like the Minority Report Oracle demanding the banning of all semi-automatic rifles. You remove these nutcases, the left has no one left to mobilize them. Hey, did you enjoy this video? Here's the thing, you're, over, you're here, this is the end of the, so we don't care because you already watched it, but if you really didn't like it and you want to justify it, leave a comment below telling us why you didn't like the video. And if you liked us, let us know and uh, subscribe to the channel because that lets the overlords at YouTube know that, uh, you know what? You're all right.